Hi guys yesterday I decided to macro overnight. So now I have 220 billion honey. Meaning I can finally fix up my somewhat messed up hive. I know it looks fine to a majority of you guys. But if you also happen to be a blue hive, you would know that having 5 music bees is a bit unnecessary. Anyway I think 200 billion is more than enough to get a couple balloon boys and tadpole bees, unless my luck is terrible. But let's try keep that positive mindset, cause positivity is positivity, and only positive people can be pot. Okay let's get rid of the rad bee since he's useless. Not looking so good. This is definitely not looking good. Damn we got a buoyant bee, this feels great, not including the fact that we spent 120,000 jellies. Whatever it could have been worse. It got worse, I feel like a gambler who lost his life savings. But he still keeps going. Damn only a thousand jellies, that's kinda lucky. Not including the fact that I spent a total of 220,000 royal jellies. But I guess I have to accept it and move on. You see I learned a very valuable quote. Things happen whether or not we like it. People die of starvation. Wars happen. Global warming. And sometimes, certain bees don't get hatched. Anyway let's work on spirit bears quest so people stop calling me mid game. Okay the easiest thing on this list would be to donate and red extracts to the wind shrine. Speaking of tasks, if a certain macro decided to work properly I would have completed this one already. From all of these tasks I guess grinding in cactus field would be the easiest. I'm starting to realize how slow spirit bears quests are. Well maybe not slow, but just boring. I mean I can't really imagine using the wealth clock 5 times without macroing. Honestly I don't think this game is made for humans. I actually have a theory that Elol is actually Mark Zuckerberg. But that also leaves the question. Is Mark Zuckerberg also good at blocks fruits? Oh look we finished the task. But I guess the real question is what do I do now? Just kidding I know what I have to do. But I don't want to grind at strawberry field for like 10 hours. I'll probably just macro off camera I guess. Unless you guys want to see a 10 hour video of me walking around in squares. Which I'm gonna have to make the bold assumption that you don't. Now let's kill all the mini bosses since I have nothing better to do. Of course without baby love because I can't be bothered to wait. Plus does baby love even do anything? Right now I have 300% loot luck and baby love only gives 50%. Whatever I honestly cannot be bothered to think about it, I can think about it later when I'm bored or something, or even better, forget about it completely. Anyway usually around this part of the video I will tell you guys, there are two types of people in this world. People who are subscribed to Noko. And then a super scary threat so scary that it will make you pee your pants. But honestly I cannot be bothered to come up with a threat so if you could, I'd appreciate it if you could threaten yourself, then subscribed out of fear cause that's a perfectly reasonable thing to ask for. 